Reputation is everything. It's crucial. Taylor and Travis had so much to say, I can't even. All this chatter about Queen T revealing her final scheme with the tight end for the Chiefs is absurd. I recommend that you give this some attention. Undoubtedly, Taylor Swift is the queen of subtly hinting. Why she appears to be so active in the industry of covert coded communications is one thing to wonder about. Second, Swifties are the greatest sleuths out there. They can accurately determine what her tea is each and every time. I can assure you that she has spilt the most tea on her new partner thus far. This one is really spicy, so be ready. Taylor Swift's highly visible relationship with Kansas City Chiefs player Travis Kelsey is shocking the hell out of us. Initially, Kelsey went to Argentina to witness Swift's Global Aries Tour debut. The NFL tight end was seen having fun with Swift's father in a VIP tent on the second night of the tour in Buenos Aires. This set off a chain reaction of less than subtle cues that seemed to indicate this pair would soon be taking a vow. You have to acknowledge that this is not the vocalist's typical performance. This genius is crafting a narrative that implies Kelsey is the main character instead of merely a supporting one. For instance, in her Time Person of the Year cover story, Taylor Swift talked about how she and Travis Kelsey share the spotlight. Not only that, but she also gave a detailed account of the precise moment their love story started. Even though Taylor Swift is much more active in her life than just dating the Chiefs player, people still find her and Travis Kelsey charming. The relationship history became evident on December 6, 2023, when the musical phenomenon was chosen as Time's Person of the Year. In an episode of the New Heights podcast, Travis discussed his futile attempts to meet the singer while she was on her Aries tour. Here's the issue, though. When she showed up at the Chiefs game on September 24, the two had been dating for a few weeks. Okay, indeed, that makes much more sense than what we all assumed would be a challenging game launch for their first date. As you can see, the 2023 Person of the Year respected her privacy on her previous relationships, but it appears that she has had second thoughts about this new boyfriend. The couple's media craze and Taylor's composure in the face of it all have been discussed by the new king of her heart. Might we also talk about the kiss? The way the two are displaying their affection is adored by the fans. Even an official web announcement has been made. Swift and Kelsey appear to be settling for the next best thing now that Facebook's poke feature has been removed. Yes, in addition to PDA, we also receive DDA. Of course, Digital Manifestations of Affection. What a great time to be alive. On their podcast, Travis and his brother Jason Kelsey talked about his new football record and how a well-known Chiefs fan celebrated the achievement on Instagram. The first people to like and comment on the post were Swifties, with comments like here because Taylor liked it and go Taylor's boyfriend. We can feel the love. Even in her Instagram captions, the 34-year-old singer doesn't think twice to utilize her partner's colloquialisms. She said, To the people who came to see the Eras tour, you are what made these stadiums feel so alive and electric and unforgettable for me, utilizing one of Travis's most beloved adjectives, electric. Oh, and on another podcast episode, Travis used the same word to describe seeing Taylor play in Argentina. Meant to be? We think so, too. For the record, Travis regrets missing a night out with Taylor Swift's father, Scott Swift, and believes that high fives are fantastic too. Speaking of which, how about we talk about that night? Crazy sign dropping. During her era's tour stop in Argentina, Taylor Swift made numerous references to her new football beau, and the 34-year-old NFL player was in the audience to witness them all. Swifty chose to celebrate the sportsman with an acoustic rendition of Endgame, a song from her 2017 album Reputation, according to her most recent concept. For those unaware, the subject matter of the song is eternal love, and Swifties assert that this is evidence of it. The audience member's red and gold wristbands, which represent the Chief's official colors, lit up while she sang the song. Furthermore, however, the football hunk received two more nods. Her gaze remained fixed on the tight end player as she sang her hit song, Lover. When she ultimately changed the lyrics of the song from Karma is the guy on the screen to Karma is the guy on the Chiefs, Travis turned into a red-faced mush. 
Taylor raced to him in front of the backstage watchers, shocking everyone with her PDA butt. The audience roared. Celebrity matchmaker Alessandra Conti thinks this was a planned move. She believes that Taylor views this as the last stretch and is at ease enough to show off their relationship to the public something we don't usually see. Apart from the lyrics of her songs, Swift has a reputation for keeping her romances very secret. The Midnight Singer was known to race from automobiles and back when she was dating Joe Alwyn, her ex-husband. Are paparazzi taking images of us now? She generally avoids talking about her romantic relationships in public. In fact, not much was known about her six-year romance with actor Joe Alwyn by the general public. Their relationship was started in secrecy, and the only information she ever revealed was from a journal entry that was included in the deluxe version of her album Lover. But the reason she's talking about it so much now is that she believes Travis is the one. Even the cause of the breakup between Swift and Alwyn was unclear. Not long later, she began her era's tour, although the details remained secret until April 2023. Alwyn apparently struggled to deal with the attention of the public and Taylor's celebrity. And this man, what about him? He shows her off by dancing at her concerts and waving signs whenever he gets the chance. We are really happy for her. In just a few months, Taylor's position on privacy seems to have evolved with regard to her intimate connections. It's unknown when the two started dating, but during her two-month tour break, she quickly became well-known at the football players' games. Taylor has even been observed mingling with Donna and Ed Kelsey, Travis's parents. There are also allegations that Kelsey visited her parents and had dinner with Scott Swift. What do you think they talked about? I take it you've already met the parents? Oh, and the relationship guru also blamed their ages and future goals for their early admission into the meeting parents phase. What are your thoughts then? Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are considering their next course of action as 2024 approaches. A source said that even though the couple has only been dating for a few months, they have had numerous in-depth conversations about their future together. Despite having extremely busy lives, Swift and Kelsey prioritize spending time with one other. They are always FaceTiming, talking, and calling each other when they are unable to be together in person. Those close to Swift and Kelsey claim that their love is sincere. Their friends are also overjoyed for them. Despite their initial amazement at how the relationship developed, a close friend of the Kansas City Chiefs player said that they are now positive that this is the real deal for him. You know, dating T.H.E. Taylor Swift. Truly, he had found a queen. Despite the media craze, Travis Friends stressed that the couple remains committed to growing a truly committed relationship. Thanks for watching our videos. Don't forget to like and comments. Also subscribe our channel for more videos.